So today we got Logic Beats right here, man. Introduce yourself. Let us know. Tell your fans who you are, what you do. All right, I go by uh, I go by Logic the producer. So it's at Logic Beats on social media, all social media, but on paper. Like if you see me in the streets, they call me Logic, but on paper it's Logic the producer. For sure, my boy, a producer yeah. definitely. The beat's going crazy, crazy. Tell us some of the artists you have worked with up to this point, whether they're independent artists, big artists, some of your favorite artists. Uh, so shit, the first person I really kind of worked with, um, Koga Vango, he was like the first person I kind of worked with. And I worked with him like through somebody that I knew. He was like my first little placement. It was when he was first coming up. Um, but I don't work with him. I work with, uh, I work with Pop Lord. I don't know if y'all know about, bro. His name was Yaki at first, but go by Pop Lord now. Going crazy. Um, who else? Um, most recent thing I did was uh, with Umfunk. Um, Umfunk. I got Where in with him, him, had a session with him. Um, but yeah. So do you, you just produce or do you engineer? So I, I really do both. You do some um, of both? I produce and engineer. I really don't like engineering. Um, I found that out early, like engineering, that really ain't my, my thing. I really like, I really like making beats more than anything. Yeah, definitely something for everybody, man. So shit, do you work at your own studio? Do you have a home studio or do you kind of just move around Atlanta and pull up on artists? Shit, I really, I really just move around really like wherever, wherever somebody having some, I kind of just like to pull up. I bring my laptop with me everywhere. Um, I got a couple of studios I work out of mainly, but I pretty much just make beats at my crib. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's, it's more effective that way. Definitely. All right, Coach, so cool. Like, like, let's talk about the industry for a second, and we'll get into the production side of the industry. Like, is there any producers, big producers that you would like to work with, or is there any producers that you, like, are inspired by that's in the industry at the moment um, or in the past? Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that shit really a tough one for me. Um, but like, just the regulars, like, Sunny Digital, Southside, TM, Metro, like, all them guys really kind of inspire me and inspire me to, like, make beats the way I do and just to, like, work with artists the way I do. Like, with them guys, like, when they came up, I felt like they were just working with, you know, anybody they could put their hands on for real, and they was kind of, like, turning them up. They wasn't really, like, chasing, like, oh, who's you know, popping now or, or that sort of thing. But that's kind of like what I do now. Like I just take anybody I meet in the studio or, or whatever situation and just kind of try to turn them up. Okay, they're hard right there. Shout out to Metro, shout out to Southside. Like shout that. out to TM88 too. TM88, man. yeah, 808 Mafia. I would really want to work with him more than anybody. For sure, shout out to TM. If you see this, my boy trying to tap in with you, definitely. Hell so, yeah, man. Like coming up, like your music selection, what type of artist? Like, what's your vibe? Like, instruments wise, when you making your beats, when you making your productions, what's the type? What's your go-to instrument? So, what's your go-to vibe? All right. So, really, this shit might sound crazy, but I'm kind of give y'all my sauce. It ain't the sauce, but it's just my sauce. So, yeah. what I do, every last one of my beats, I never have an idea what I'm finna make. So, anytime I get on my computer, I sit down and just. Whatever I hear, like first or whatever mood I'm in, that's how I kind of create. And all of my drum patterns, like I make from scratch. Like a lot of people, like nowadays, that shit might be hard to believe, but like literally every last beat you hear, it's I didn't use no type of drum loop, no everything from scratch. Yeah, everything that I create hard. from scratch. That hard, that hard, definitely. Let's tap into like how you got to where you are today. So where, where you from? I'm, I'm originally from Atlanta. I was born and raised. Atlanta, okay, Atlanta, baby. So you're from Atlanta. Have you always been into music, like coming up, childhood, or you know, where did it, where did the music side of you come from? Uh, so I kind of got like I got like a music background for real. So my pops did music growing up. So he kind of introduced me to to music. I remember when I was a little kid. He used to always make music in the garage and he had this like piano he would play on and, 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 and make these songs. And like one day he asked me to come in and just play on the keyboard with him. And like ever since that day, I just been hooked. Like, 
my first like toys and stuff as a kid though was like like drums and instruments so I kind of always been around music but I definitely get it from my pops definitely so pops put you in the game for sure let him in let him in so to to up and coming artists today you know a lot of people they don't really know the way you feel what I'm saying like a lot of a lot of these artists they just get in the studio they make music and then they stuck you dig like so what is some of the advice you can give some of the upcoming artists do, like from what you have learned working in the studio with all different types of artists what would be your advice to keep going and keep coming up um the biggest thing for me and this kind of why I don't really like recording people no more is just like come prepared like like when you when you Definitely come to the prepared. studio yeah like the studio is for like performance the studio is not for like coming up with ideas like and I'm only saying that for a lot of a lot of artists you know they kind of work on the budget so you working on the budget and you're not with a label or nothing you can't really spend that time in the studio or spend that money to just chill and parlay in the studio like come prepared mm -hmm. and like no nobody really like to work with an artist that really don't really know how to make songs or, or keep the session going I feel like they put a lot of stress on the engineers nowadays because engineers got to come up with they got to come up with the beats they got to come up with the lyrics half the time they got to come up with just a lot of stuff to keep the energy of the session going so that's like one of my biggest thing man like come prepared like and know your craft definitely definitely know what you're capable of yeah, yeah like artists don't like y'all don't come to the studio and you know what i'm saying like you might have a halfway engineer but Majority of the time, bro come to, you know, he show up to work. He, he come to do what he's supposed to do. And it's, it's vice versa with the artists. Like, like the, the most fun sessions is when artists, they kind of know what they finna do. They know how they want the song to go. They kind of know what they doing in the studio. Like, them be like the most fun sessions. Right, right, right. Definitely. So, is there any bigger artists that you would like to work with in the near future or even local artists? Like, what's some of the artists that you would want to tap in with? Um, shit, out of the new niggas coming up now, uh, Lil Tyler really got my attention. Like, he like one of the hardest young niggas shout right now. Shout out Lil Tyler, for sure. Yeah, definitely shout out Lil Tyler. Florida. He going crazy. Yeah. Um, but pretty much, man, like, I kind of, I ain't really never chased, like, the wave. Like, I never really chased the artists. I know that shit kind of sound weird, but I always just want to do my own thing. Like, like, coming up, a lot of people wasn't really fucking with my beats like that, so... I mean, I done sat in plenty of studio sessions just playing beats. Nobody ever got on them, shit. Nobody even, like, wanted to hear them. You know what I'm saying? So So with that being said, what's your motivation? How do you keep going when, you know, when you're going through those moments? What's the motivation? Oh, shit, really, you really got to be self-motivated. You know what I'm saying? Like, believe in yourself. Like, even when nobody thinks your stuff hard, like, your beat's hard, like, just... I mean, shit, you got ears, bro. Like when you in, the, when you at the crib or wherever you go to make your beats, like you hear, you hear that shit. Like if you telling yourself or people around you, you know what I'm saying? Like if they listen to this shit, like they vibing with it, like just stick with that and just believe in that and just go harder with that. Like, cause shit, to be honest, like man, it be all the type of music being made, bro. Like somebody might think this trash and another person might think that shit gold. So you just never know. All right, cool. So I'm gonna give you a couple words, and I just kind of want to tell, like, what's your outlook on these words, just for the fans right here. Uh, loyalty. What is loyalty to you? Uh, loyalty. Loyalty meaning, like, for me, it's like you you standing on business, like, regardless of the situation. It, it shit kind of go hand in hand with integrity. Like, if you somewhere. And let's say somebody talking bad about like one of your homies or something like I feel like you ain't loyal if you just let shit slide or so somebody just saying something reckless about your homie. Like if you just let it slide, like you let somebody just say whatever, like I feel like that ain't loyal right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to have that integrity. Like when folks ain't in the room, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody speaking bad about somebody that you know, you got to like stand up, just stand on business. Like. Don't right, be around right. your partner talking about you lawyer this and that, and then when time come down to it, you know what I'm saying, you folding. Like, that shit ain't it. Okay. So this is definitely for the fans. Um, 
relationship in our generation, we see a lot of going on with relationship 50 50. What's your outlook in being on in a relationship with a female? Do you look at the 50 50 side of things? Or do you feel like you should just take it all over? What, what's your outlook? See the crazy one. Um, you mean like 50 50, like as far as like splitting stuff? Yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna keep it real. So I feel like shit, whoever you rocking with. I feel like if y'all got a debate over the 50-50, like, that shit ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you got this person back, they supposed to have your back, no matter what the situation is. So, I don't really believe in the whole 50-50 thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all just need to take care of each other. You feel me? Like, it's shit more important than that. You know what I'm saying? Do Logic Beats, do you have a family? Do you have any children? Uh, like, or is it just you? It's just me for right now. Yup. Yeah, and what about the future? You you want to have children, or you kind of more focused on you on your craft right now? Uh, I would like to have that one day, but right now I'm kind of just I'm kind of just focused. I don't really see the need for it right now. I got pets, so they take care of the kids. Yeah. Apart from me, so. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 So, what's a place that you would like to travel? Like, what's your dream place? Vacation? Where is that? Uh, dream place. Ooh. I definitely want to go to Africa. Africa, yeah, that's that's definitely number one on my list also. Yeah, for like, sure. Like the like the wild parts of Africa. I don't yeah, really want yeah. to be in the city. I want to be in the <laughs> villages. I mean, shit, I want to fuck with both though, like. Yeah. Cause I want to know what it's like over there for real, for real. I never been out the country either, so that's kind of like one of the first places I want to go if I ever do go out the country. That and Jamaica. Okay, say so, less. So, Jamaica, Africa, y'all definitely will be seeing. Logic real soon. What what pets do you have? You said your pets kind of hold it down for you. What animals do you have? All right, so right now I got a I got a pet cat and I got a pet dog. It's a pit bull. It's a puppy right now. She been giving me a headache, but that's really all I that's really all I got right now. Those are definitely children. Those are definitely children. For sure. Yeah. So, on your do you work with do you work with Logics since that's your name or do you work with FL Studios? I pretty much work with everything but Ableton. But Ableton. Ableton just OD for me. Like definitely. It's cool, but I don't know. But I actually got my name from that software logic though. Yeah, right, right. I was right. just in class one day and I was like, well, shit, Sonny, he got like Sonny Digital. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all everybody had stuff going on with music or something involved with the industry. So I was like, shit. You ran with Logic. You're the closest thing right here. Right, right. And I hated Logic too when I first started making music. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. All right, so Apple, when, when it comes to you, what you like editing on, do you like Mac or do you like PC? Uh, for Pro Tools, most definitely Mac. Pro Tools and Logic, most definitely Mac. I think Logic is a, is a Mac program anyway. Right, it is. But, um, other than that, bro, it's PC for me. Yeah, like. all the way PC? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Apple on my editing. Okay, then. Okay, so the fans got to tap in with you. Sitting down with Selm Visions. We got Logic Beat. One more time, tell them, like, where they can find you at, how to follow you, uh, how to book you, where to look up your beat set, anything like that. Put them down one time. Oh, uh, shit. So it's at Logic Beats, and that's Logic with two eyes. So L-O-G-I-I-C, at Logic Beats. That's on all social media. Um, you can catch my, you can catch my music, my beats, I upload my beats on BeatStars, I upload new beats every week, so. Okay, okay. Y'all can tap in if y'all want to buy some, y'all want to hear some. Uh, yeah, man. That's Consistency, it. let's get it, let's get it. So we, we're Logic, Sound Vision, and we out. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan, make this shit work. Yeah. Got to pop out, like really show them who you is for real. So, shit, producers important. Hey. Producers definitely important.